Welcome to this new video. This week, we are going to show you how to migrate your OneDrives between two Microsoft 365 tenants. We are going to show you how to configure the migration and run it. Click on Connectors and click on Create a Microsoft 365 Source Connector. Give your connector a name, select Source as Direction, and select File for Migration Product. Click Next. For this tutorial, we are going to use the Automatic Mode. You can use the Expert Mode if you want to manually create your connector. For simplicity, we are not going to use the Expert Mode in this video. However, more details are available in the User Guide. In this screen, enter a migration account and password. The account needs to be SharePoint Administrator. Next, click on Grant Admin Consent. It will install an Azure Active Directory application in your tenant. You will be prompted to enter a global admin account. It is only necessary for installing the Azure AD application and will not be used during the migration process. Now that we have created the source connector, let's set up the target Microsoft 365 connector. Select an O365 connector, give it a name, and select Target as Direction, and select File as Product. Again, we are going to use the automatic mode and not the manual mode. In the automatic mode, you just have to enter an existing migration account and its password. Next, click on Grant Admin Consent. It will install an Azure Active Directory application in your tenant. For this, you will be prompted for a global admin account that is only necessary for installation the application. First, let's populate the migration list. It can be done in two different ways. From the File Migration Interface, navigate to Files, then select the User List and Get List in the Migration menu. Or from the Discovery homepage by selecting Get File Users. In the Get File Users pop up, select your source and target connector. Select OneDrive as recipient type. For the rewriting rules on this demo, we will simply rewrite the email addresses and replace the domain name. Various other options are available. Click on Get File Users. You can monitor and check the logs of the discovery process. Once completed, the list of users appear in the list. Now, let's pick up one user and migrate him. Verify that the target email is correct. If not, edit it and enter the correct email address. Note that the platform is not provisioning the user. It has to exist in the target tenant and have a valid OneDrive license. Before starting the migration, start the pre-processing task. The pre-processing will create the target OneDrive and give the correct permissions to the migration account. Once the pre-processing is completed, you can start the migration and come back later once it's done. It will create the target OneDrive and set the correct permissions to the migration account. Once the pre-processing is completed, run the migration and let's come back later once it's completed. It can take some time to complete. The reason is that it is using the Microsoft import service. The platform is submitting import jobs requests and has to periodically come back and query for the import job status. Good! The migration is completed. Good news! Both the pre-processing and the migration is completed. We can see the statistics of the migration in the user details. We can also see a consolidated view of the statistics in the global dashboard. Thank you for watching and check out our other migration guides.